Hi guys and welcome to this video where we're going to quickly show how to bind our MF PCDs. We're going to be using the F18C um, variant at the moment but the same goes for any of the aircraft that you want to do. So first off we'll add in the interface for the um, for the air aircraft of our choice, the F18C um, and we will now um, move the MFPCD. We'll have a left one and we'll also have a right one. And we'll just name them appropriately. And um, we're now going to add in the viewports um, if we're going to be using those, which we probably will be. So add in the left one. And the right one. Apologies, I haven't uh, aligned these particularly well, but um, we're just uh, we're just demonstrating the concepts here. And what I'll do is not that it'll make a big big difference. I'll just move them beneath the the overlays, the, sorry, the viewports down um, in the layer so that they're beneath the actual graphical elements for the um, the MFPCD buttons. So <clears throat> what we've got now is we've got a left and a right MFPCD. We've got the viewports um, allocated to them and now we're just going to, to go through and bind the graphical components to the F18C um, interface. So to do that we will select the graphical component and you can see here in the bindings the uh, all of the items that are can, can be bound. So we'll be binding both the input and the output for this um, and that allows the buttons being pressed in Helios to activate the buttons in DCS World. It also allows the graphical change of the buttons um, in DCS um, to reflect through onto the Helios version of the MFPCD. Right, so first up we'll find the uh, left MDI. <clears throat> Sorry for the, the um, difference in naming conventions, but um, uh, these things happen. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use OSB1 changed and we're going to bind it to set physical state. So that says that when the um, OSB01 is changed in DCS, it passes through the trigger value through to the set physical state um, in, in Helios. Now we'll go over to the output bindings. Same sort of thing here, except for OSB1, we'll bind the push OSB1 to pushed and the release OSB1 to released. And um, the fantastic news is you've only got another 39 of those to do. Right, so um, we'll now go up to the, um, the selector knob and we will it's bound, bound to the mode knob, so we'll set the set the current position of the selector knob to the position changed here, and back in the input bindings, we'll do the 
um, the brightness selector knob to the mode knob and you'll have the contrast and the brightness um, values down in the bottom um, of the uh, the two MFPCDs um, to bind as well. So that's uh, briefly how you do it. Obviously, you've got to do all of the buttons on both of the um, um, the elements, but it's all repetition uh, repetition after the here. So hope you found this useful. If you did, please smash the like. Uh, if you're interested in subscribing, go ahead and do that. I don't do videos that often, but um, hopefully you find them useful when I do. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye.